Hi, everyone, and welcome to our Wednesday Encouragement. Thanks for taking time out of your week to join us. Now, before we get to our devotional thought, I just want to thank everyone who has given to remember the children for their efforts to provide food and shelter to refugees from the war in Ukraine, uh, as well as supplies to those who are still there trying to survive amid the fighting. Uh, they're grateful for your help, and so are we. The first dip of tobacco I ever put in my mouth was nasty. I remember standing there at baseball tryouts, wanting desperately to fit in, and wondering how long I had to leave it in my mouth before I'd look like a wimp when I spit it out. I had seen the commercials with Danny Don Meredith telling me, just a pinch between your cheek and gum gives you full tobacco pleasure without lighting up. But I was having trouble finding the pleasure in it. When you're 14, and you change schools three days into baseball tryouts, though, you fight through it just to fit in. But then something interesting happened. I got used to it. And then, amazingly, I started to really enjoy it. I got to the point that any time I smelled wintergreen, I longed for a dip. It's been almost 30 years since I quit, and I still get that same feeling whenever I smell a can of Skoll or Copenhagen. Kind of strange when my first feelings about it were revulsion. My choosing to use these products eventually altered my taste for and feelings about them because feelings follow actions. I think that's why God refers to love as an action. All through the Bible, God tells us to love people, even our enemies. But how do you just conjure up warm, fuzzy feelings for people, especially people who've hurt you? Is that fair for God to command us to have warm, fuzzy feelings? Well, thankfully, he doesn't, because agape, the kind of love God requires of us, is all about action, not feelings. It means to treat people lovingly, sometimes despite what we may be feeling. And while that's hard sometimes, it is doable. But here's the interesting part. When you commit yourself to acting lovingly towards someone, over time, you'll see your feelings change as well. It starts with harsh feelings easing, then softening, and then with God's help, they can even turn positive. Gary Chapman tells of a woman who came to him for advice because she was ready to get a divorce. He told her, take the next month and commit yourself to acting lovingly toward your husband no matter what, and then come back and see me. A month later, he saw her and asked if she was proceeding with the divorce, and she said, divorce? I love him. Why would I divorce him? Feelings tend to follow action, and to God, love is an action. When we act lovingly toward people, our feelings will follow. What I can't figure out is how I could get to love something like skull, and I can't eat vegetables without throwing up. I'll put that on my questions for God when I get to heaven list, alongside of, why did you create mosquitoes and ticks? <laughs>